All right, good evening, everyone. I'm Karen Swenson. And I'm Natalie Shepard. New at 6 tonight, New Orleans police are investigating a recent spate of armed robberies in the French Quarter. There have been at least a half dozen since this past weekend. Paul Murphy spoke with a man, in fact, who witnessed this crime wave firsthand. New Orleans police are asking for help in identifying those responsible for a series of armed robberies in the French Quarter. There have been six stick-ups in the quarter since early Sunday morning. Police released a video of a man walking near Ursuline and Burgundy around 3 a.m. on Monday. Another man, armed with a handgun, approached him from behind, demanding that the victim empty his pockets. The victim says he fought for the robber's gun after handing over his wallet and a pocket knife. When I went after the gun, that's when he was able to open up my knife and, and start, you know, stabbing at me. The victim says he chased the robber for blocks before passing out. Both of my forearms have uh, pretty, pretty deep wounds. Um, my, my right forearm, um, it actually went through my forearm muscle and almost to the bone. Eddie Selby is a former police commander who spent 36 years with the NOPD. He says most armed robberies are crimes of opportunity. You should give them an opportunity because you have gotten off the beaten path, but maybe it's been... You know, had a little too much to drink. He says victims should enjoy the French Quarter, but be careful. You stay on a populated street, you walk with a group of people, you take your cab. The victim says he plans to be more careful the next time he goes to the quarter. Stay in the populated areas, don't go in the secluded areas where, you know, uh, you know where, where it's easy for these criminals to, you know, sneak up on you. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Police say the suspect in the armed robbery at Ursuline in Burgundy appears to be a black man, 35 to 40 years old, with, quote, bushy hair and a thick beard and mustache.